Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Hope everyone's uh, healthy and happy as much as you can be during this time. So what I thought I'd do is for this first video here is talk about Thief, play through the first mission, Lord Baffert's Manor, maybe give some tips and some tricks and some info for people who are just starting out and want to get into this game. It's a little old, so it can be a little obtuse, but definitely doable. So I'm an expert. I'm gonna skip the training, but I do recommend the training for people that are new to the game. I'm gonna skip the cutscene here. So this is the first thing here we can see and changing the difficulty in Thief actually changes the level of objectives. So you can see here on normal we just have to get in and steal the, the scepter. But on hard um, we can't kill any servants. And on expert we can't kill anyone. So most of the objectives on expert, hard and expert, uh, you can't kill anyone and you have like a loot uh, loot goal here, like 700 uh, gold worth of loot. That's another thing. So, right, we'll just hit continue here, and this is the starting screen where you purchase your gear for the upcoming mission. This is the first mission, so we only get 300 to start out with, and only have a few gadgets available as you get through the, the game more. Uh, you have more things that you can buy that help you. So, water arrows, uh, douse torches, and things, um, fireplaces as well. Um, pretty useful, one of the most useful items in the game. You can buy those. Arrows can kill enemies, uh, healing potions, obviously heal yourself. So we're going to go to the mission here. So Thief is pretty much known primarily for its uh, sound propagation system and its lighting and shadows. So what that means is, in this game, it's supposed to simulate actual noise. So when you make a, when you walk, you make footsteps. And the sound travels and your enemies can hear you. And depending on what surface you're walking on, depending on how much noise you make. So this kind of gravel right here makes a little bit of noise, but it's not too bad. But there's other services like marble that you'll we'll see here later in the level that make a lot of noise. And uh, surfaces like grass and carpet are actually almost completely silent, so those are good for sneaking on. So those are the two things you want to keep in mind, is like your light and shadows. And you can see right here, we're in darkness. So if an enemy were to walk by here, they wouldn't really be able to see us because we're not making any noise. And all this information is given to you by the light gem that's at the bottom center of the screen. So as you can see, it's pure black, which means it's not reflecting any light. Um, so it means we're pretty hidden. But when we walk into the light in a minute here, well, actually you can see here as I walk, I'm making noise. And I'm also more visible because I'm walking. So you can see there when I walked, the, the gem lit up. There's a servant there that's walking. And that's the front entrance to Lord Bathurst Manor. Not a good idea to go through the front, but you can. Many to try um, to get by that's the thing here. about Thief is there's multiple ways you can accomplish your objective. Um, especially in Thief 2, the game after this, there's usually tons of entrances and exits. But in the first game, there's still quite a few. So I want to go back this way. The way they want you to go through is uh, go through the well. It's being guarded by a drunk guard here. That we'll see coming up. But So as you can see, though, in the light, the gems lit up means I'm visible. If an enemy to walk by here, they'd see me instantly. In the darkness, not so much. This is something they really improved on, I think, as the series went on, is making it more dynamic. So you can still be seen in the dark, but you have to be, the guard has to be right next to you, or you have to be making a lot of noise. Thief Gold, I've noticed, um, it's much more binary. If you're in the dark, you're pretty much hidden. But Depends on the mission and depends on the guard too. Some of the guards are smarter than others, it seems like. Let's... This is avoiding the streets completely. Get that right there. And this key. So to get Thief working on a modern computer. <laughs> So what I recommend is Tfix, which is a fan-made patch that allows Thief to work on Windows 10 and other modern operating systems. Um, it's free, um, I can put a link to it in the description of the video. Um, definitely recommend that, it gives you the various options that you'd expect from a modern game, modern resolutions, etc. You know, fixes it, fixes glitches and things like that, so that's, that's basically mandatory for running this on a modern computer. Uh, other things I recommend, I recommend a graphic patch, you know, the game is quite old, a lot of the textures especially didn't even look too great at the time, so today they don't hold up super well, so I definitely recommend a graphic patch, and there's primarily three that people use, um, there's Thief HD, there's the Enhancement Pack, and there's another one, I can't remember the name of, but I can put it in the description of the video. 
but uh, Thief HD is probably the most extensive. Adds a lot of new textures, changes the art style, and it's kind of divisive for that reason because it makes a lot of artistic changes that are not so familiar to people that maybe grew up with the game or weren't intended by the developers. The enhancement pack is much more faithful to the game. And actually the enhancement pack 1.0 actually comes with T-Fix. So it's built right into T-Fix. So that's pretty cool. Um, there's also an enhancement Since pack 2.0 which well goes a little bit further. That is not built into T-Fix and that you have to download. And I can provide a link to that in the description of the video. Um, that's the one I recommend because it stays pretty true to the art style while making the game a lot more visually appealing. For, for now. So, as you can see there, we killed some spiders. We took some gold from that treasure chest. I don't know every single piece of loot in this mission, but I know how to get the majority of them. Everything's pretty out in the open in this mission. There's not a whole lot of hidden stuff. Now, Inside at last. in my opinion, the, the flow of Thief should go hide, run, fight if you're not reloading your saves which is, people call that save scumming, I believe. Um, basically, you should be hiding from guards. If you're caught, you should run. And if you can't run, you should fight. Now, you're really not meant to fight in the game. One-on-one um, -on -one sword fighting, even with one guard, is probably going to kill you, especially on hard and expert. And when you get multiple guards involved, you know, you can just kiss it goodbye, pretty much. Um, you're not really a sword fighter, you're a thief. Um, hence the name of the game, so... Definitely recommend uh, hiding, running, and fighting in that order if you're not save scumming. If you're save scumming, you can just reload your save as soon as you're caught. So I'm going to try to actually not do that here, just to not interrupt the flow of gameplay. Just natural, take it as it goes. There was a guard. There's two guards in this house. One down here, and there's one over here. I think he keeps walking here. Now we're basically in, we're in like the basement area. Okay, and I know there's something down here somewhere, not that way. Not there. There is various pieces, there is various bottles you can see here, and plates. You can pick them up and throw them and they'll actually make noise. And these can be used to distract guards, especially early in the game. Uh, this guy, I'm gonna knock this guy out. So yeah, your blackjack is, I believe it's two is the shortcut key on the keyboard. Blackjack no knocks guards out if they're unaware. If they're aware, they can't be knocked out. some supplies in there. Fruit, you can pick up fruit and eat it for health. It doesn't give you a whole lot, but I don't really need it, but we'll eat it anyway. Garrett just came out of quarantine. Walking up the stairs. Do, do, do. Now, obviously, you can crouch and run. Obviously, uh, running makes more noise, walking slower makes less noise, crouching makes less noise. So you're making the most noise while you're uncrouched and running. While you're crouched and walking very slowly, you're making uh, the least amount of noise. That's really important, especially when we get to some of these harder floors later on. This area is not so bad because there's not too many guards yet, but when we get later on, there's going to be more guards. I'm gonna go this way. And you can always destroy these with your sword. And there's actually some hidden stuff sometimes when you destroy those banners. So, including in this mission, which we'll see here in a little bit. Opened it and closed it real quick. And I think there's a drunk guy right here. Yes, there is. A little bit too much. Buddy. So 
so there's guards that patrol this hallway. They're not as smart in this mission as they are in later missions, but you still have to be careful. There's some food on the table. Plates. I think you can pick up these plates, but they don't count as loot for some reason. Most of the time, if you keep something in your inventory, it counts as loot. I'm going to try to knock out, not knock out cards. Um, I think Thief is better when you try to ghost. You just try to make yourself unseen. This is the back way to escape later in the mission. We'll open it right now, actually. But that's how you can leave. Actually, you can leave through the front door, too, but there's guards there. So, keep that in mind. And I think he is suspicious. Don't worry about it, pal. Loot. The thing about loot in this game, it's easy to tell, is usually it's always gold. It's colored. Something has gold on it if it's loot normally. Or has like a gold tint to it. Makes it easy to tell if it's loot. So, water arrows, put out torches, create shadows, gives you some places to hide. Pretty common sense, but really cool. Cool mechanic. This, is, this main hallway has a lot of patrolling guards. Another thing too that I don't see people like mention a lot is that if you have your sword out actually, your sword reflects light. So you're more visible with your sword out than with your blackjack. Same thing with the arrows as well. Your water arrows actually reflect light as well. Hey, what was that? So, oh, let me see, somebody knows over here. But yeah, so if you want to be really hidden, you don't have anything out or you have your blackjack out. Some loot there. Like I said, food can be eaten. Those plates, so oddly in our inventory. Loot on this table. Flash bombs. Uh, so how you use a flash bomb is you have it highlighted like this, then you throw it with, I believe, right click, and flash bombs obviously What's that? Hey, oh we'll see one right stop. now ah, so you can't knock guards out but if you flash bomb them then you can use your blackjack and knock them out so those are good for moments like that where you are being an idiot like I am and not paying attention and find a guard so that banner. Is it this one? Yes, it is. So this is a little secret way to get to your objective here. You want to get, as you can see, sneak in. We already did that when we went through the well. Ideally by blackjack, you're pickpocketing the well guard for his key. We did that. Steal the jeweled scepter with as little notice as possible. Gain 700 in loot. Don't kill anybody and get our way out. So this is a secret way to the room with the scepter. This makes it a lot easier because, as you'll see, there's a lot of marble floor, which makes a lot of noise for the guards. So that right there, that marble floor is going to make us very alert to the guards. So you want to jump down. <clears throat> kind of hurt ourselves here, but you can take the fall. Later on in the game, there's rope arrows that kind of allow you to grapple. But we don't have those yet, so... I'm going to knock this guy out. And he was aware because he heard us, but he wasn't aware enough to be in full alert. It's a throne room. How uh, pretentious can you get? It's a throne room. How pretentious can you get? Here we go. Yeah, got the scepter. That's the main goal. We still got to get more loot to fill that 700 quota in gold. Select your keys. Later on in the game they introduce lock picking, uh, but for now, yeah, you just keep it simple. This is what makes a lot of noise. This is marble. There's a secret room down here. You can see it from the basement where we came in.
secret room. Very, uh, very long walk to the secret room, but there's loot down here. Cash pits, Sunny Fair, interest payments, Sunny Fair, Ramirez, Sunny Fair. So this is just some backstory. Ramirez comes up later in the game, actually. You rob his mansion. Spoilers. What the heck is going on with Dragbound? Even if Ginny's grafting, he damn well ought to be more subtle than this if it's not turned around in another week. Tossed up to Ramirez's breach. A lot of flavor text in this game. A lot of the story is told through uh, readables. So things like that you saw there. Hinting at future events. So, it's very cool. Some of them also give you hints for the mission. Tell you where things are. Some of them are just lore and backstory. Sometimes you'll read something and you'll be like, Oh, there's a secret passage in this mansion. And let's you know. Eat some bread, eat some apples. I'm just being a thief sneaking through a mansion, just eating apples like three at a time, just pouring them in your mouth. Oh no! We are discovered. This is what happens when you record and play. Ah no, I thought I wasn't sure if he was still following me or not. Uh. No! I'm just a thief. I'm just a thief. I'm just a thief. I just wanna go for a swim. I just want some. We in the, I think we're in the kitchen. Yeah, we're in the kitchen. I think that light there, I always hit that light. You have to be careful with the light. I'd be like, what the heck is that? It sounds like somebody's hitting a blackjack against the light. There's loot down here, which is another reason why I wanted to come down here besides being an idiot and getting myself caught. about it. Oh well. Don't know what it was. Mm -hmm. Guards have various alert states, so obviously if they can see you they're fully aware of you. They can be moderately suspicious. They can be I guess you'd say like sure but not a hundred percent sure. And they can just be completely oblivious where they have no idea that anybody's Round. We still need more loot. I'm trying to avoid these guys without without knocking anybody out anymore. Love that sound that it makes when you pick up an object, pick up a valuable. Very satisfying. Looking right at us. What I see there. Oh well. Must have nothing. Someone behind me. Nothing now. We have enough loot yet. We need more loot. We need more loot. Not that way. <sighs> Someone there? Nope, nobody's here. Nobody home. Is someone there? Oh, wow. 
I'm super dangerous because there's a bunch of guards up in this area. But there's loot. And that's the point of the game. Putting yourself in danger for gold. Hello? Nope. Show yourself. Not here, you can't hear me. Need a little bit more gold than we're good. <sighs> That's the thing about this manor is that I don't always, for some reason, I always forget the one hallway how to get to it. This is an expert, super expert stream. Who's there? Some super great thief player. Obviously, I'm being sarcastic. Hmm. No, not there. What is that? I need to go up, I think. That's why. Who goes there? Who goes there? Of the guard barks in this game. Guards always comment on what's going on and it's very entertaining. That's the one I went up. I gotta go this way. Thought I saw something. Nope. Didn't see a single thing. Seems quiet enough now. Did you see the hobo? No. Over there. There's only one chest in here that has anything in it. There we go. That's what we needed. I'm just gonna get out. There's more gold than I think I know where it is, but... Lord Bafford, a recent delivery of antiquities from Bond can use several items who felt made of interest of you. Kind of jump there to avoid the marble floor. So, what gold is used for not only is a mission requirement, but also buying loot for your next mission requires the gold that you get from your current mission. So the more gold you get, the more gear you can buy. So it makes it easier on yourself. Early game, it's not as big of a deal because most of the missions are pretty self-explanatory and you don't really have a lot of options for what you can buy. But later in the game, the missions get more complicated than we definitely that was very close. We definitely need uh, more loot for more gear. More loot for gear. Gear 2020. Who's that there? <laughs> nope, it's nobody. It's nobody. Just go, go up to sleep or whatever. Those are the wine bottles you can grab. It's always those ones. The green ones are not able to be picked up. I think we were in here already, so we're good. I'm just gonna skedaddle now. Just gonna skedaddle. He's still following me. He's like, I'm not forgetting about you, buddy. Just have to get Is there. Oh. oh. Just have to get out. That's all. And there it is. We opened earlier. All right. So thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Hopefully, 
give you some tips to start out with Thief. I'm not the greatest player in the world, especially while recording, but hopefully it was a nice introduction to the game and 22 minutes 35 seconds. Hmm, it's about 300, not too bad. Picked every pocket, knocked down five guards. Only one body discovered, so not too bad. But alright. Thank you all for watching, and uh, the prison break is next.